brothers and sisters. A few years ago, I was having a conversation with a young man who had lots of doubts about faith, who quite frankly did not believe. And his parents had asked me to come over and speak with him. And we were chatting and I realized the conversation was going nowhere. Um, besides invoking a prayer to the Holy Spirit to touch his heart, um, I found myself saying something that also um, has always benefited me in other conversations since. And it was, you know, he was saying, you know, basically thinking the Gospels were just fantasy, made up the miracles that can't happen. Um, and, you know, so I found myself saying to him that, you know, those same miracles in the Gospels still happen today. Um, they don't happen maybe as frequently as they should because of the lack of faith. Uh, or, you know, sometimes God has different plans for, for people with illness, you know, could be through their suffering, their sanctifying themselves, saving themselves, saving the world. Um, we don't want to explain away all suffering. But the miracles of the Gospels happen today and they actually happen quite frequently if we but share with each other a bit more about what the Lord does in our life. As a priest, I'm privileged to experience and hear stories from so many people constantly about what God is doing in their life. Today's gospel is the healing of the blind beggar man, Bartimaeus. Um, he's there and he, he's been in darkness without sight for a long time. Probably been treated horribly, marginalized, especially in that culture, society of the time. And he sees Jesus. I mean, he hears Jesus. And he, he makes an act of faith. He says, son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the crowd tries to shut him up. Which is like the world. The world tries to shut out our faith. But he cries louder. And he, and he makes that deep act of faith. And that, that attracts Jesus' heart. It attracts Jesus' eyes towards him. And Jesus then says, call him closer. And then we know the story, he's healed, he's restored to sight. But there's a priest that I know, um, that I've been in touch with for the last few years. Um, he's in America, Father Matthias Thalen. Some of you would know about him. He's the founder of Encounter Ministries, which who are hungry to see the renewal of the charismatic gifts on earth that, or the healing power of Jesus. Because why? Because it's at the heart of the gospel. The gospel is healing. The gospel has primarily come to heal us of our sin and to, to deliver us. But accompanied by that power is the visible manifestations of healing in, in, in the physical realm, in our body. And, and as a sign of the power that is happening more interiorly in our souls. And so Father Matthias, one of the great things that kicked off his whole healing evangelization and, and, and preaching mission was he was walking around in Detroit and came across a homeless woman who was blind. And his heart broke for her, desperate to see God do something in her life. And this is often a tool that, uh, what he says, he says, you know, when we see miracles is when our faith meets desperation, when we are dependent on God, that we are, we know it's not us, that we are hopeless, we're not, not hopeless, but we, we know that we can't do something. Only God could do something. We need something, the power of the kingdom, the power of the supernatural life, grace. They brought her into the church and started to pray with her. And she was like, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Um, and she's like, well, what do you mean? I'm praying with you. We agreed to pray. And she said, no, but the moment your hands touched my eyes, I felt an electricity. And then she started to scream because she was healed of her sight. She regained her sight. And I mean, this is one now of maybe thousands of miracles that Father Matthias has seen through their ministry. Um, when, an, when we really create that space for, for God to work and to heal. And so it's a story that has always touched me because it shows to me the same gospel event happened or incarnated in that moment through Father Matthias's prayer with, with this lady. And it lends the credibility of the power of the gospel. So when we hear about these stories now, we look back into the gospel, we see, we see the power of God. 
And so, you know, brothers and sisters, these words of Bartimaeus in the gospel, Lord, that I may see. Yes, it was physical seeing, but many people are healed and they and they don't come back to, to thank the Lord like the lepers, the ten lepers. And so the much deeper miracle is the, the sight. And this is the adventure of the spiritual life. Spiritual seeing is, one, I think, the most beautiful thing that we can ask the Lord for. Lord, give me spiritual sight, this sight in my soul to see you in prayer, to experience you more deeply, to see more this world through your eyes. And, and, and what's the antidote? How do we get this? Look at the man. It's always about going to Jesus. Go to him in the tabernacle. Go to him in the Eucharist. It's the Lord. Ask him, Lord, give me the grace to see. May the Lord bless you.